Hey guys, thanks for joining me. I am Aaron of Alaba. Today I'm in a very special place in East Ayrshire. I'm in Balak Mile and I'm looking for some of the most incredible cup and ring marks in the whole of Europe. Stay tuned to see more. Four thousand years ago, Europe was a very different place. The people lived off the land and their knowledge was nothing compared to ours today. I don't believe they were very different from us, but their lifestyle and their beliefs were quite the contrary. Behind me, is a special place for these ancient people because they left us a story but that story is still not understood behind me guys is their story their left wisdom 4,000 year old canvas 5,000 for all we know really So what you're looking at here guys is the ancient people's artwork. We have the cups like this here and we have the rings like this. This one looks like, like the moon or something, it's pretty cool. You can see that there's no recognizable formation for them all. They're in quite random places. But it is quite spectacular. This is just one of the faces. On the other side, we have another sandstone cliff, which is also. Full of these cup and ring marks. Look at that one's beautiful. They're not quite as clear as on the other side. But they are stunning. So the, the cup and ring marks, guys, are not they're not an uncommon phenomenon in northern Europe. But these cup and ring marks in East Ayrshire, with Balak Mile, which you should all come visit if you're interested in this sort of thing, are a one-off. Because they are the only cup and ring marks that are on a vertical cliff or a vertical rock. All the rest are lying down on the ground, all over Northern Europe and Scotland. So, Quite special, huh? I know some of you are thinking, what the hell are you showing us, Aaron? Some of you just have no idea or no interest. You see, there are many theories on the cup and ring marks throughout Europe. Some of them I find ridiculous, like absolutely ridiculous. Some of them are things like that the circles represent a pebble getting thrown in the water. The hell does that mean? Some of them say that these are connections between the stones the stone circles, which I a hundred percent agree with. But today I want to tell you my theory. I believe that the ancient people of the world knew a lot more about it cosmos than we did. 
I believe that they st stared at their starry skies every single night. And I believe that this is a cosmic calendar map. Could well be, it's clear if you look at some of the other ancient monuments in Scotland, like Callanish or the Ring of Brog Brogdar, that Our ancients knew what was going on up there way better than we did. Guys, these two rock faces were discovered to have all these carvings on them in the 1970s only. Craziness, right? They were apparently covered in vegetation, moss and stuff. Just like it is a bit higher up, as it does in Scotland quite easily. And to be totally honest with you, it's kind of a miracle that they still exist. Because... Where I am about to show you is just up the rocks up here. I'll turn you around. So we just keep following this up, guys. This, guys, is just on the other side. It's a giant sandstone quarry. It's probably been dug for hundreds, if not thousands of years. And just on the other side of that tree is our beautiful carvings. So, it begs two questions. Was there more carvings? Were a lot more faces being taken away? And why is it that it seems only our two walls over that side have the carvings left? Is it by chance? Or are we meant to have that knowledge, Joe? Maybe it is a cosmic calendar after all. Well, that's me getting ready to leave the carvings here at Balak Mile. It's quite a special place. And you know, it says YouTube. I'm sure loads of you think different things. Let me know your, your thoughts. You know, I hear... I hear that people, some people believe that the rings represent years of a life like a tree. Some people believe that it's like eternal life, all these kind of things. It's all kind of theories. Let me know. I'll just give you my theory. So, I do hope you enjoyed today's little video. And if you did, don't forget to hit subscribe, give me a wee thumbs up, do whatever you want with it, send it to your pals. Cheerio the next time. Bye.